Having trouble connecting your Samsung TV to Wi-Fi? Many users face this issue, and today, I'm here to help you resolve it. If you're looking to get your entertainment or sports streaming back on track, this video will guide you through the steps to reconnect your TV to your Wi-Fi network effectively. First, let's make sure the Wi-Fi credentials you're entering on your Samsung TV are correct. It's easy to miss a letter or a number, so double-check your password and network name for accuracy. Next, if your credentials are fine but the TV still won't connect, we should try power cycling your TV. Here's how you do it. Turn off your TV and unplug it from the power outlet. I recommend waiting about one minute before you plug it back in. This simple step can often refresh the system and solve connectivity issues. Now let's head over to your TV's settings. Grab your remote and navigate to the Settings menu. From there, go to General and then select Network. Once you're in the Network Settings, choose Open Network Settings and select Wireless. You should see a list of available Wi-Fi networks. If your network doesn't show up right away, don't worry. Just scroll down and refresh the list. This refresh can help if your Wi-Fi signal was temporarily weak or interrupted. To ensure your TV operates smoothly, update its software by navigating to Settings, then Support, and selecting Software Update to install any available updates. If your TV isn't connected to Wi-Fi, you can still update it. For USB updates, download the firmware from Samsung's website, transfer it to a USB drive, and update via your TV's USB port. Alternatively, if your TV has an Ethernet port, connect it directly to your router with an Ethernet cable and proceed with the update. Both methods bypass the need for a Wi-Fi connection. If you're still facing issues with your Wi-Fi connection, resetting your network settings might help. On your remote, go to Settings, then General, and select Network. Here, choose Reset Network to restore your network settings to their default state. This step can clear any errors that might be interfering with your connection. Additionally, changing your DNS settings can sometimes help resolve connection issues. To do this correctly, use your remote to navigate to Network, then IP Settings. Select Static under the Options. Once in the Static IP configuration, go to DNS Settings and choose Enter Manually. Input Google's DNS addresses. For DNS 1, enter 8.8.8.8, .8 and for DNS 2, enter 8.8.4.4. These specific DNS settings can improve your network's stability and speed, potentially fixing any connectivity problems you've been experiencing. Sometimes, the issue might not be with your TV, but with your home network itself. A good step to try is restarting your router and modem. Simply unplug both devices from their power sources. It's important to wait about 10 minutes before plugging them back in. This waiting period allows your devices to fully reset, which can solve lingering network issues. Once you plug everything back in, allow a few moments for the network to come back online, then try connecting your TV again. If you've tried all the previous steps and your TV still won't connect to Wi-Fi, it may be time to consider a factory reset. This is a big step, as it will return your TV to its original settings, just like when it was new. This means all your custom settings and downloaded apps will be erased. To proceed, use your remote to navigate to Settings, then General. Here, select Reset. You'll likely need to enter a PIN. The default is usually 0000. After confirming the reset, your TV will begin the process. Once it's done, you can set it up from scratch and attempt to connect to Wi-Fi again. That's all for today's video. I hope these steps helped you resolve the issue with your Samsung TV not connecting to Wi-Fi. If you found this guide useful, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more practical tech tips. Also, if you have any questions or have other solutions that worked for you, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching 
and I'll see you in the next video.